Hey guys, Eagle here with a new series, sort of series, more like a mini series, whatever. Simple redstone contraptions. And for the first two contraptions I'm going to show you is, I don't have a name for this yet, but it's a, uh, it's like a, it's a decorative lava fountain that also acts as a source of light at night. And also a simple 2x2 jeb door. And, um, that's my phone. I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to show you all what happens to both of these. Here you have this fountain. Let's just time set nighttime. When the light level gets so low, it'll activate the light, the uh, sunlight, the light detector. I'm doing that. Now this can be modified to. This is just a, this is more of an artistic design that I've made. I made last night on a server, on a sort of an SMP server. And um, watch out for that series in the future. Excuse me. So yeah, um, this can be made with any block as long as it's not flammable. I like the stone brick iron bar combination because it looks, you know, it's kind of like a stronghold type thing. You can replace this block again with any block that's not flammable. And thankfully, the uh, um, what's it called? The sticky piston is not flammable, which is awesome. Look at that. Time set zero. Let me watch it quickly dissipate. And you could probably, oh, it's taking its time. You could probably set it up to where it's not non-hazardous, like, you know, put um, glass, like, too high glass all around this or something. But this is, you know, as long as you're on a server where no one's really stupid, no one will run into lava, or if you are on a single-player world and you're not going to do that, you can do this. Also, the 2 by 2 Jeb door, you know. Did this on a f on the faction series that we never continued because the server got somehow the server, you know, big old wall. You can make it out of normal stone, which I did. And you just say, oh, okay, hey, look, a switch or lever, and you have your door. First, I'm gonna show you guys how to build this little fountain. So, uh, yeah. Okay, first you want to do a. Hold on. First, you want to dig out a six by six. No, a five by five. We'll divot. These can be this can be as big as you want, up to a three by three. No, that's as you can make it as bit as small as a three by three, but that's really not much of a light source because the lava doesn't spread that much. So yeah, just do this. Um, make a six or a five by five pattern of any block of your choosing and then you can do and then I, add, I extend out like this a little bit of save block or save blocks because you know smelting stone isn't very fun then I do one like that or uh, like that daylight sensor on top sticky piston which this isn't technically an inverted redstone signal it's just using the redstone a bit redstone attributes to make whatever so put a block there to build on my iron bars and I can do iron bars too high again you can do them you can change the iron as you if you want to it's up to you two bucks of lava and what I do is I do two high stairs with the corners a little bit of a design that I kind of liked and there you have it your uh, your lamp and what I find like cool, what I find cool about the daylight sensor is that even if it's, I think actually, the sticky piston is the piston is considered a, a um, transparent object, I believe, so the light just goes through it. Then if you wanted to, you could um, let's see, you could make it out of. Let's see, what's another stair block? Do quartz. Um, quartz and white stained glass. Oh, 
and then you can just... Then if only they had made different textures of the sticky piston, or if there's a way I could hide the sticky piston, which I believe I can do just another layer of that, and the lava should still flow properly. There's no way to hide the, uh, it'll flow weird. There's no way to hide the edge of the sticky piston either. So the, you can, you can change the, see this is, it's weird how the flow of it worked now. So yeah. That is the uh, redstone lamp light thing. That's a Facebook notification. Don't worry about that. So yeah. Oh, that, that's why I was screwed up. Forgot that part. Whatever. Yeah, you can change it around a bit if you want to make it look more, you know, you can use lapis and blue or, you know, make it like a stronghold. Whatever you want. You can do anything. Well, that's, uh, that's a shame. All right, now onto the Jeb door. The Jeb door is pretty simple, but it takes some time to get. It takes some a little bit of time. You start off with four rest, four stick pistons facing inward, two facing outward. Place your blocks there. So let me do some, do a different block so you can see the difference. Um, it's kind of a different kind of block. Um. Do some glass. I'll do white. I'll do gray and red. Because, you know, why not? It looks like crap, whatever. Yeah, then you do two over. Then I'll do this first. Do two over like that. Block. You want to conceal it. I'm doing this just so you can see the difference. See what it looks like. Conceal the, the outside like that. Leaving a 4x4 four four place right here for those two blocks to go into. And then you can do... Next hand place lever on the glass? No, you can't. So... Mm, stone, whatever. Like that. Alright, then do... Well, screw the glass. At least the top layer of glass. It's not the best idea in the world. Yes, yeah, screw the glass. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Do like... Like, I don't know, you can make a design like you do quartz. Doesn't really matter. Make it look good. Make it look however you want it to look. Whatever. You can do it whichever way you like it. It's your build. I just made it look really stupid, and I know. Whatever. It's the redstone that counts. You can change the design around a bit if you want to. Alright, so you want to find the middle. These two are here. Alright, do. On the second most outer... Two repeaters. The the first one you actually do like that. One click, no clicks. One click, no clicks. Redstone everywhere else. Um, lever right there, and there you go. That looks rather weird. The T for yield to gem. Yeah, whatever. Then you got this, and you can play around with the redstone a bit. To f you can play around with the redstone a bit to change it up a bit. You can. From this, I believe you can make a 6x6, six six, but that's a little more complicated. Again, this is just simple redstone contractions. And, um, yeah. I'll also show you how to make a simple redstone clock just for the hell of it. Two of them, actually, because, you know, you can do that. But, yeah. You can hide this, you know, you can make it out of stone, make it out of dirt, and conceal it very well. And now with 1.8, you can put levers on the roof, which I should have done that, actually, because I'm in 1.7.10. So I can run shaders and stuff like that for later on. But you can put a lever on the roof if you're 1.8. So it's a little more... It's more 
hideable, more concealable. Yeah, that makes it better. Do one. There you go. T. Whatever. And that is your 2x2 Jeb door. Now, what else I want to show you guys real quick is how to make a simp two simple um, redstone clocks. Let's see. The first one, which I use, I use a lot because it's more. I think it's more simple. Let me get a, a block. Do that. Make like sort of like a like a V or a U, and re repeater like that. I do. I usually do two clicks. I think that's it. No. No, I did it wrong. No, here we go. This is how you do it. It's been a while. That's not how you do it. I had it right the first time. Here, you got a simple redstone clock. And you can put a lever down to make it to turn it on and off. I broke it. There we go. Turn on and off, you're gonna do now. Like that. No. Do not put anything on this redstone. Except for that lever. Use this redstone to lead it off as the clock. Use this inverted this constantly inverting redstone torch. And that's a simple that's probably the most simple clock you can get, except for something else. Okay, this the I had to look it up for a minute because I was I forgot about it. But this is more I don't use this. I usually use this clock right here. But the second clock requires one comparator turned in the off position. Not how what you call that. Repeater redstone wrapped around reconnected and like that. You have that's as fast as you can have this one. And that's, that is, I advise something like this, because I'm not sure if it'll happen, but if it, redstone goes too quickly, it'll cancel stuff out. I'll show you what happens when I do it with this one. If I have it all the way in like that, watch. It's going so fast. See, the redstone just died. I'll do it again. Yeah. So the redstone dies. I like to leave it on that. That's as fast as I do it. You can set it up to where it's faster, I believe, using a s bunch of repeaters. But this is how I like to do it. It's very simple. Two very simple redstone clocks. And two very simple redstone contraptions. With multiple different variations you can make, you can derive from them. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that first episode of Simple Redstone Contraptions. If you have an idea or want me to explain some redstone, some more different things, want me to get into command blocks, let me know. I do warn you, I have no idea what I'm doing with the current command blocks. The commands from 1.7 plus, 1.7 on with all the spawn blocks. Because I'm used to using world edit and stuff. But yeah. So again, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more Redstone Contraptions. And um, yeah, thanks guys.